This is a French Special Forces RILC. The individual lyophilized commando ration is designed for lightweight and portable carry with any canned food being replaced with freeze-dried food. It's a very rare ration, and this is one of the only ones I've ever come across. All right, that being said, let's check this thing out. Here are 50 gram box of biscuits, an S-bit stove, This looks like a little drink packet with hot cocoa and what looks to be dried milk. A little 30 gram fruit chew bar. Chocolate. Fish stew with mashed potatoes. Some tissues. <laughs> Commando bar. Pasta carbonara. Two packs of chicken soup, a little 30 gram nougat bar, and another 21 gram commando bar, and some caramels. Well, this is looking like a pretty comprehensive 24 hour ration. All right, so this is what I'll be picking for breakfast. The caramels, some biscuits with chicken soup, have a nice little mocha, the hot chocolate and coffee with a sugar, and the commando bar. All right, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. All right, so first off, I wanna start with these biscuits. It's a big pack, so really, and they're rancid. I can definitely smell they're rancid. Wow, yeah, that's no big deal. Hey, look at these things, they look pretty nice too. Yeah, I'm still gonna try one out, I think. You know, just kinda of can't help myself. Ooh. But there's a shortening in there that I can definitely smell has gone a little bit foul. So that's, eh, oh well. Let's have some chicken soup. Hopefully this thing's held up since its best before date was October 2011 for the ration. We'll see. Well, it smells pretty strong, but it also smells okay. Not bad. Let's check out that coffee and cocoa. Coffee looks good. ration doesn't come with a spoon so we'll just use a regular MRE spoon. That looks good. All right let's check out the commando bar. Oh wow it just looks like a big old vanilla Tootsie Roll chew type thing. Huh. Cool. Just smells like a mild vanilla and for those caramels Oh wow, individually wrapped. Those look real nice. You get four of them. You could have these throughout the day. Nice little pick-me-up. Cool. So let's check out the cracker. I mean, it smells... Oh yeah, it's definitely got that bleachy. Oh, it tasted fine at first. Oh. Oh wow. That's super foul. Tastes fine just at first, but then quickly turns bad. Oh man. Actually, let's try out the um, chicken soup. What's the shame about those biscuits? That seemed like a nice pairing with this. This seems okay. Oh yeah, that tastes amazing. Wow. Very savory chicken, kind of a light gravy flavor with um, a little bit of what seems to be some basil mm. Mm. and onion. Oh wow. This is fantastic. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely a nice start to the day. That, and we'll see how this commando bar is looking. Oh wow, it's like a chewy rice crisp protein bar. Very light flavor. Hmm, it's probably gonna go good with this. Oh, that's so good. Mm. That's gourmet. Bon appetit. This is like a creamy rice protein chew. It's amazing, it's one of the best things I ever had. As for these biscuits, they would have had a nice light shortening, even lightly sweet, a mildly sweet biscuit. Would have been great if still fresh. Let's try out this caramel. Look at that thing. That looks pretty nice. This is going to take a minute to eat. This caramel softens up quickly. It's buttery. It's sweet. 
It's amazing. It's high quality. Let's finish up the rest of this hot cocoa with it. Mm. And that coffee with the cocoa makes for an excellent mocha. What a nice little start to the day. This would be how I'd do it because I have a hard time eating a large meal when I first wake up. So it'd be something nice and light like this. Lunch and dinner be the larger meals. Move over to that in a sec. This is delicious. I'm going to save the rest of these caramels. Now let's move over to lunch. All right, this is my choice for lunch. Got that fish stew with mashed potatoes, sugar-coated fruit chew, just a nice carbohydrate jelly bar of sorts, another commando bar, those are awesome, two coffees, some creamer, and this nougat bar. So let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. So I'm gonna first start off with that coffee. Gonna do double strength for lunch. Double strength. I'm gonna check out the dried milk. Make sure it's still good. There's a certain tinge to bad dry milk. The smell is off-putting in a slight minor way and I just I, it's so hard to explain. And this has it. It's just that slight cheese and mildew, if that makes any sense. It's really weird. You wouldn't even know by the way it looks. But this is no good, unfortunately. Check out that fish stew with mashed potatoes. Oof, that smells very strong. <laughs> they didn't really uh, go cheap with ingredients, that's for sure. Actually, now that I've added water, it smells okay. So I'm just gonna let this kinda rehydrate, just stir it up as best I can, get that properly reconstituted. You can see the herbs in there and everything. Look at that. That's a really nice fish stew. It actually smells pretty good now. Wow. It just smelled very strong of fish and the dry milk. I'm going to be pretty careful with it. We'll see. Considering it expired five years ago, it's good to take some precaution. This is really rehydrated quite nicely. Now that really turned out nice. Wow, look at that. You know, this looks pretty incredible. Let's get a nice bite of this. Mmm. I don't know how the dry milk didn't go bad. It didn't quite smell right at first. Once I rehydrated it, all was well. That cod is delicious. It's not overly fishy a flavor, but you can still tell it's fish. It has a nice distinct flavor. The mashed potatoes are smooth and buttery. It has a complex flavor of garlic, herbs and seasonings. Mm. This is an excellent stew. Wow. Those mashed potatoes are, oh wow. They're just creamy, buttery. Let's check out this nougat bar. Oh, that looks cool. Get all these desserts unwrapped. Now the uh, little fruit chew. Nice. And that commando bar. Let's see if it's any different. No, it's the same, but that's okay. Okay, let's try out the nougat bar. Hmm. Those little colored jellies. They're like little fruit chews inside the nougat. It's like a sweet, creamy chew with colorful fruit chews inside of it. Delicious. Followed up with this coffee. Added about 10 ounces to the glass, so 10 ounces for two packs. This has a very nice, bold, nutty flavor. That is perfect coffee. Really good. Let's try out that chew. Hmm, just some delicious immediate energy. It's a jelly bar. This is fantastic. Wow, another great item. Let's check out that commando bar. Make sure it's this, not any different. And it's not. Vanilla cream. I'd prefer that over just about any candy bar. Commando bar is awesome. Follow up with a little more coffee. All right, so this lunch was absolutely incredible. Let's move over to that dinner. So this is what I saved for dinner, the pasta carbonara. Let's look at that. Check out those ingredients. And that second chicken soup. A little 25 gram, 70% cocoa, dark chocolate bar. And that mint tea with the sugar. Let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. So we're going to add some water to that pasta carbonara first. It smells okay. It's just noodles with like a cream sauce and ham chunks. Those little ham bits float to the top. Chicken soup smells good. Check out that mint tea. It's a nice little bag. 
has a very mild mint aroma. Wow, since I added that water, this thing really came to life and has a very nice creamy and almost bacon undertone aroma. Wow, look at that. Let's go let's let that rehydrate a little bit longer. And while that's doing its thing, we'll check out that chocolate. Well, this didn't really oxidize all that much for being five years outdated. Four nice chunks of 70% cocoa chocolate. Not bad. Look at that. I love how the herbs settle at the top of this chicken soup. Well, that has to be the nicest, most decadent, creamy chicken herb soup I've ever had. It's amazing. This really is. This whole ration has turned out to be absolutely incredible so far. There's a ton of ham in this thing. I mean, like, they really don't shortchange you on ham. Well, it's 15% ham, 50% noodles. Looks, still looks like a really good amount of ham in there. That looks nicely mixed up. I'm gonna try a little bite out of the pouch and then get it out on the tray. Oh, wow. That is a savory, delicious, almost tastes like a nice little home-cooked meal. A step up from cafeteria, I'll say that. The herbs and spices and roasted onion. I mean, this is incredible. This really did turn out to be an amazing ration. I expected it to be a little bit expired, but everything held up. Well, just about everything, other than the biscuits and that dried milk, held up very well. Look at that. That light red sauce, the carbonara, it's incredible. The noodles rehydrate perfectly. Surprisingly enough, I find that even more enjoyable than the fish stew with mashed potatoes. You can go for some more of this. Oh wow, that is just so incredible. Nice, complex, quality flavors. This is a step up from store-bought soup mixes. And again, for being five years outdated, I mean, thing is perfectly fine. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Look at that chocolate. Mmm. It's dry, which I really like. Mmm, great quality. Very dry, light texture. Oh, wow. That mint tea is fantastic. You know, when you get r right up to the cup and you're about to take a sip and you breathe in, that nice menthol aroma, it's stimulating yet relaxing. Mmm, and with that little bit of sugar, Perfect. Turned out to be one of the best rations I've ever had. It's very well balanced. I love all the bars, the commando bar, that nougat bar, which I'm surprised wasn't hard as a rock. It's chocolate. It's awesome. Well, that was definitely one of the best rations I ever had. The French RILC. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you liked the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll be coming back at you with something new world. Alright, cool. See ya.